There now, you're all patched up. Doesn't that feel so much better? Good to see you again. Instead of me paying you, would you pay me? You clumsily slip. Uh, Jillinar notices you're frantically trying to hide your knife behind your back. Um. So let's let's go behind her, so she doesn't see me. There we go. Okay, the only way I can pickpocket her is by facing her. Oh, she's like, nope. All right, Salim. With all the grace of a clutch, you not only fail to take Salim's purse, but you let, you let Salim see you reaching for it. Fortunately, Salim is a true innocent and just shakes your hand. Salim is looking at you with a blank expression. You believe he is suspicious, but decide not to pick his purse right now. Can I just keep trying it? My pickpocket skill went up, and I don't think they seem to distrust me any more than they did before. Neat. All right. Yeah, there, is, there are just no consequences, and that's wonderful. Okay. So here's the Pegasus feathers and the Hippocrene water. These are what you want, right? My offer is politely refused. Pegasus feather. There we go. Oh, wait, I'm selling it to him. No, no. I'm going to offer you, if you buy them at five. No. You can have them for 20 bucks a piece. I can't do that. I don't have much margin as it is. Here's what I can afford to pay. One. I could really use that stuff, but that's just more than I can afford to pay. Maybe we can... Whoa, you must think that Julinar and I are made of money. Those are drastic drachmas you're asking. Much as I love that. Okay, it literally, I cannot buy, I cannot sell these for more than one. I can possibly offer. Sure, that'll work. <laughs> you got a deal. Beautiful. All right, so now we can buy all the pills. Oh, and I can buy feathers back from it. Five, thanks. All right. Yay, there we go. Now, I don't really need anything, we'll but hey, I, I turned in a quest, which is really cool. And I also pissed off my friends by trying to pick their pockets by looking directly at them. Who needed water from the Hippocrene? Or am I just way ahead of myself? No idea. Wolfie, was it you? Did you need anything? I am very sorry, but I do not need such a thing. I guess not. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. Alright, well I guess now it's time for us to... Go ahead and enter the rights of rulership. I can't think of anything else I can do at the meantime instead of just like going out and maxing out my stats, which would be nice. But... And we got better things to do. Oh wait, let's go sell all of our stuff. We got so much stuff that Folus wants. This is probably the longest way in the world to get to him. What can I sell you? All right, here. No, you can't sell me anything, but uh, you can buy some of my old stuff. Here you go. Now, apparently, I've been picking up all these arrows and I'm really excited about bows at some point, but apparently bows have been completely written out of the game. They want to ranged combat or missile combat, but they just, they, uh, we, we have knives, we have magic spells, we can throw rocks for Christ's sake, but no, bows just too much. We can't handle it. So these arrows are completely fucking pointless. So here, you can buy them for two a piece. Will you do that for me? Wait, how about three? No, two? Hey, no, okay, fine. We got you got a deal. All right, so you take all my arrows. You can take this shield. I have four of these. You can buy them at 50 a piece. How about that? You think I'm no. Made of money? I it's weird kind of this. bargaining in the opposite direction. How about 46? There you deal. go. Good, ka-ching. How much money am I up to? I have 842, which is almost enough for the rights of rulership. All right, you can buy some of those. Nice. There you go. Yeah, I got these. This sword here, you can have. You think I'm made of money? We got a deal. And oh no, those are my daggers. You can't have those. Good. All right, let's just go check in on everybody before we uh, settle in and go make ourselves the last few bucks that we need to enter the rights of rulership. Um, how about you? Do you want the Hippocrene water? That's it. You've got it. Oh. I'd know its smell anywhere. It's got the scent of the sweat of the wild bull you're riding. The chill of a starlit night on the top of a mountain peak. The perfume of a lover's lips. How could I ever forget this? It's the drink that makes men become gods. It's adventure and glory and life. It's what you're here for, isn't it? It's why I was here for so long I just didn't realize it. Did I... Did I do something right... He really sounds like his old self again. This sounds like the guy who wrote the manual that I base my life upon. So what is it about the hippocrene water, huh? You tasted it, didn't you? No. You couldn't help but drink deep the waters of the hippocrene. It's the milk of mother nature, the liquor of inspiration, the very spirit of adventure. 
Wow, I can't believe I didn't have some for myself. We're gonna have to go back and get ourselves a sip of that. Uh, how are you? Ask me that question again when I've had my quaff of this stuff. I've been dead for so long here, and I didn't even know it. This will bring me back to life again. Well, you can just drink it now. Come back here, after I've had the chance to enjoy this. I'll try to find something you'd be interested in. Oh, I feel so much- I feel so- He was so depressed and angry and- and everything, but now I gave him some of this hippocrine water, and he's gonna be great. Everything's gonna be wonderful, and I have a chance, I'm just gonna step outside, and then go back inside, and he's gonna be full of vigor and life, and no, uh, he's still sitting behind his desk. Alright, well, let's see if he's feeling better. Welcome back, lad. I wanted to really thank you in return for shaking the cobwebs from my head and dusting me off with the hippocrine water. Here, take this in return for the hippocrine water. It's a stealth charm. A Got stealth it from a charm. Kid that was known nice. as the greatest thief in Gaul. Called himself the mouse. Retired to take up falconry. Or so I heard. Anyway, hope it helps you as much as this helps me. Fantastic. And I can show him the thief sign? Here, there you go. Blah, blah, blah. Oh no, I'm not gonna admit I know that sign. It can get a guy in real trouble, you know. Oh. Well, okay. Well he knows it. Alright, well oh wow, I can ask him all kinds of stuff. Hi! It's a gorgeous morning today. It is! It's wonderful! Makes me want to run outside and dive off the dock. Swim to who knows where. It's that kind of a day. Well, you can't because you'll get stabbed by Aquaman. But I, I, it's it's great you're feeling better, though. And you're also really old. I'm not sure if you should, but I'd say go for it. Um, how are you doing? I am alive again. I feel like I've just wakened from a long sleep. I've got some books to write and stories to tell. And then I'm off to find some new adventures and new tales. Life's too short not to enjoy it fully. Oh, I love your philosophy now. You are you are my new favorite person, F.A. And actually, what's your real... What's your real name? Huh. You want to know my real name? Which one do you want to know? My name is Davy Jones when I sail upon the sea. I've chorused with the sirens as they sang their songs to me. I've supped on Circe's Island, though she thought I was a boar. And she's the only girl I hope to never see once more. So apparently he goes by many names. Let's see if he, he'll tell us some more. You want to know my real name? Which one do you want to know? My name is Davy Jones when I sail upon the sea. So maybe his name actually is Davy Jones. And maybe he does have a locker somewhere. But I think if we ask him about his name another time we come, it'll be something different. Pegasus! It's beautiful, isn't it? There's only one in all the world. Kind of sad thinking of it all alone like that. Everyone needs a lover sometime. Have you been giving a lot of thought into mating habits of? Are you a brony of some description, my friend? There he is, Davy Jones, aka the famous adventurer, brony extraordinaire. Oh, well, I don't love him any less for it. Goodbye. Farewell, and enjoy every moment of your adventure. Even the worst is better than being dead. All right, now I don't think I can wear the luck charm. And the stealth charm at the same time. So the luck charm oops, uh, gives me 50 more luck. And then stealth goes from 433 to 483. So uh, I don't need the stealth charm at all times. I think the luck charm will be more handy in more circumstances. But if I'm ever sneaking around anywhere, yeah, that stealth charm is going straight on my body. Hello everybody, hello and welcome back again. We've done a little bit of grinding. As you can see, it is now day seven, almost two o'clock in the goddamn morning. I have been out adventuring, let me tell ya. Uh, well, not really adventuring, I've literally been punching the air, uh, roundhouse kicking, also the air, shadow boxing, they call it, if you will. I also went back to the bar and I earned myself a little bit more money and that was really, really difficult. Anyway, so all of our stats, Way up, except for swimming, of course, because we have not set foot in water yet. Even though we are isolated in an archipelago of sorts. Acrobatics, oddly, way up. Stealth, way up. And I got that stealth charm, which will give me 50 points bonus whenever. Uh, lock picking and pickpocket still could be better than my offense and defensive skills are going way up. I've learned how to battle a little bit better. Anyway, it is still 1 o'clock in the morning, so let's get some rest. I'm not in great shape, and I will see you in the morning, baby. Um, oh, and I also found out you can make the bed and gain honor points. How adorable is that? Good night, sneaky feet. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, now some breakfast and off we go, Sneaky Feet. What time does Sneaky Feet wake up in the morning? 7.54 a.m., so not bad. Not exactly daybreak, but not exactly sleeping in either. Let's see what's on the menu for today. And then, honestly, I think it's about time we got this story a-rolling. I, uh, as much as I love going out and venturing and doing my own thing, it's time for a little bit of structure in Sneaky Feet's life. Hi, Anne. What's cooking, good looking? Hopefully you. I am starving. Oh, God. What kind of horrors am I going to put in my mouth today? Don't read too much into that. Today's special is something I think you'll really love. Well, maybe not love exactly. More like, um, well, you'll find it interesting. It's garlic smashed potatoes and pistachio cream. Tessie was making baked potatoes and ice cream for dessert, but Tony, who was juggling the garlic, slipped on the banana that my gal Sal dropped. Tony's garlic landed on the potatoes, and Tony landed on Tessie. Tessie landed on the potatoes, and they were really smashed. So that was okay. Then Rover found that Tessie had set the ice cream on the stove, and it had all melted. Fortunately, no one likes smashed potatoes without gravy, so things worked out just fine. Thanks, and much appreciated. I gotta go by. Don't expect a tip, either. At least I got a free story with my meal. That music just makes everything better. That little opening sting just just calms you right down, no matter what's going on. Okay. So once we get the story rolling by visiting... Well, first we got to buy our, buy our way into the rights of rulership. And then the game, I think, starts moving on in a pretty fair clip. And it's almost like a timer, because I think in a certain days after you do so, then events start to unfold and you really got to stay vigilant kind of the way it was in quest for glory 2 i'm gonna visit the adventurers guild just to see who's there today and we haven't met uh, a lot of people i think oh i could have come here to train what was i doing i was just shadow boxing my room for days eh, it's tour oh elsa's here hello elsa we haven't met i don't think that armor's really doing you any favors gal let me guess who this game was designed for hi elsa hero man elsa here Elsa, hero man here. It is good to see you again. I assume you are here to be my rival in the rights of rulership. We seem to have the bad habit of working against one another each time we meet. Well, the first time it really wasn't your fault because you were... What? Not mind controlled, but... Literally transmogrified. Who? <gasps> I look forward to competing against you for the rulership of Silmaria. You will be a formidable opponent, and I shall have to strive fully. Finally, to someone who gives me a little bit of respect around here. Thank you, Elsa. I appreciate it. Who are you? I am impatient for the rights of rulership to begin. I do not like to be idle. As soon as you enter the rights, we shall see which of us will rule Silmaria. I shall enjoy your competition. I I don't want to make fun of her accent because that might be legit. I don't know. They did learn a lot of lessons about voice acting from the previous game, so maybe it's legit. Germanic sounds a little bit more Scandinavian than German, but what do I know? Ask about habits? Is that a way to open up after seeing Elsa for the first time in God knows how many years? Like, I notice you've been chewing your fingernails. It's bad habit. As you recall, I was the brigand leader you were seeking to destroy in Spielberg. Fortunately, you removed the curse upon me before we came to sword blows. I am an excellent swordsman, you know. I love the clumsy way they have to remind you what happened in the other stories. Like, oh, and if you don't remember the first time you met, I tried to kill you. My brother is now the Baron of Spielberg after Spielberg. my father retired. I like it. Barnard and I do not agree on many things. He does not approve of my behavior. Thus, I sought any chance to get away from my homeland in Barnard. Barnard. So that actually sounds more French than anything else. The first Quest for Glory was kind of a multinational cavalcade of funds. So Elsa von Spielberg is definitely Germanic, but Barnard... Is that how it's pronounced? I don't know. I'm wasting time. Brigands! Here and the things we've done here so far. Oh, God! No, oh, she's looking at me! Don't blink. 